Direction Plus, the first line of defence. Morning, my name's Jeremy from Direction Plus and we're going to start doing videos every fortnight uh, and just try and explain a couple of things both with our product and some other uh, interesting topics uh, to do with diesel injection and also diesel vehicles in general. Um, so we're here in Direction Plus headquarters uh, in our kitting department. Uh, so we have the two people that build all the kits uh, for all your people so you can install them in your vehicles with all the bits that you require. Um, today we're going to talk about what's in your can or your catch can. Uh, so today I'm just going to go through and explain some of the or show you some of the different uh, catch cans that are on the market and the differences between them and also show you the differences between ours or the ProVent one that we use um, in our kits compared to the other ones in the market. So we'll start off with uh, this one here. So we've cut these open so you can see inside them. This particular catch can was originally designed for petrol vehicles and those petrol vehicles that were uh, for racing applications, so for race tracks or uh, rally cars or so on and so forth. So vehicles that aren't going to be used on, on the road every day. The reason for that being is, or well, the main reason for that being is it vents the atmosphere, which um, has been made illegal as far as emission controls are concerned for quite some time. So the idea behind these is that these two ports here, uh, they would connect to your crankcase. Um, the gas vapor or the oil vapor would enter here uh, would hit against the internal baffle and then coalesce and then collect in the bottom and then allowing air to escape through the top. Uh, worked really well, once again was designed for racing applications and it's not illegal, oh, not legal for road vehicles. Uh, so recently uh, it's been a massive big boom for people to fit catch cans uh, to their diesel vehicles to try and uh, eliminate that carbon buildup that you get inside your inlet manifold and the reason why we're doing that is uh, to obviously maintain performance uh, of the vehicle for as long as we possibly can. So a couple of the other ones that are out on the market is this particular one here. So beautifully uh, manufactured product. Uh, the air, the dirty air or the air containing the oil vapour enters this bottom port, travels down the bottom uh, up through what they use is uh, stainless steel wool media, uh, similar to what you would get inside a muffler. Uh, and then the clean air, once uh, the oil is separated from the air, comes out the top and re-enters back into the intake. Um, once again, beautifully designed unit. However, uh, because of the design and the air passages through here, oil vapour, so that's like the finest uh, oil particles you can get in the air, so not actual oil droplets, but oil vapour, can actually make its way past um, the filtration media or the media that this particular product is using and then still enter your intake. So uh, whilst yes, it does work, uh, it's not very efficient at doing its job. Another one that's on the market uh, is this particular one. So once again, billet aluminium, beautifully designed, has these nice little swivel fittings on top. Um, similar concept, so the air enters, uh, the oil vapour or the air from the crankcase enters into the catch can, um, collects in the bottom. However, this particular unit relies on these stainless steel pieces of mesh. So similar to the previous one that I just showed you, um, however, these mesh uh, screens that it uses, uh, once again, the holes inside that are not small enough to separate the oil vapour. It'll get oil droplets, but it won't get oil vapour. So it still allows the oil vapour to pass those uh, screens and then re-enter into your engine. So once again, yes, it does work, um, but it's just not very efficient at doing its job. So we've come to uh, what we use in our uh, product, in the Direction Plus product, which is the ProVent uh, catch cans or air oil separators is what they're actually known as. Uh, we use two different types, one is the ProVent 150 and the other one is the ProVent 200. 
The 150 and the 200, the 150 distinguishing it's rated to 150 litres per minute, uh, sorry, correction, per hour, and the Provent 200 is rated to 200 litres per hour, and that's the gas flow through the unit. Um, the 150 is rated to 205 kilowatts of engine power, and the 200 is rated to 250 kilowatts of engine power. So both those units will cover 90% of modern uh, diesel engines that we see here in Australia. If you have uh, one of the American V8 diesels, uh, you'd have to go to a parallel system or something a little bit different to what we currently use here for our Australian delivered vehicles. So I'll show you, uh, this is the 150. So the concepts uh, behind all of them, behind the whole Provent range is exactly the same. The features uh, on the Provents are exactly the same throughout the entire range. So they do, however, in the range they do differ a little bit in design and where those uh, features are located. So the Provent 150, um, the pressure relief valve, so this is the valve that relieves the pressure if, for instance, uh, the filter becomes blocked or one of the hoses become kinked, this, or the inlet hose becomes kinked, this valve here will open and relieve pressure and stop your crankcase from overpressurizing. In the top of the catch can, uh, or the Provent, we have the pressure control valve, and it's a, a pneumatically operated valve, and all that does is regulate the pressure that's inside your crankcase. It never closes, unless of course the catch can is installed incorrectly, um, but all that does is regulate the pressure. Um, inside, we have the, uh, the element, which does all the hard work. So, one thing I'd like to show you, between the 150 and the 200, they do use different elements, so different part numbers for, for each of those. However, the element size itself, the surface area, is identical. So the element is the bit that does the hard work. And Mann and Hummel, who are a massive OEM manufacturer, and they have the R&D and the facilities to be able to um, test and verify their claims, um, spent a lot of time and effort in creating this unit. Inside here, it's not this actual white media or white material on the outside that does the work. It is actually uh, this stainless steel wool. So similar to like cotton wool, um, but it's actually stainless steel fibers and is very, very fine. Um, and because it is so fine and also wrapped in multiple layers, uh, it's able to catch the most important parts is not only the big oil droplets, but also the oil vapor. Uh, Man and Hummel claim, and once again, they have the, the evidence to be able to back this up, uh, that they are 98% efficient at separating oil out of the air, uh, which means for you, that if you were to fit one of these brand new, by the time you go around to selling your vehicle with 200 plus thousand kilometers on it, your inlet manifold and your intercooler, everything downstream from where the air enters back into the engine uh, will be clean. Uh, so that means for you at the end of the day is that your vehicle lasts longer. Uh, that performance that you had when you bought your vehicle new is maintained longer over the, the lifetime of the vehicle whilst you have it. Um, so I'll move on to the Provent 200. So this is the one that we use in the majority of our kits. We only use the 150 if we don't have enough space. Uh, as I said before, the features and benefits are the same between all the Provents. However, they're just uh, the features are located in different areas. So in the top of the Provent 200, we have the pressure relief valve, uh, which is hidden underneath the lid. And once again, that will open if the element becomes blocked or uh, if there is something wrong with the installation, i.e. one of the hoses kink. The pressure control valve is this valve on the outside. And once again, that controls the pressure inside the crankcase ventilation system, um, just maintaining it at a consistent level. So I'd like uh, to thank you very much for your time today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact us on our Facebook uh, webpage. You can just send us a message. If there was something, a particular topic that you guys would like us to cover, uh, we can go over that yeah, specifically and try and answer some of your questions out there. And once again, thanks very much for your time.
Direction Plus, the first line of defence.